Damn. I should have gone the other way. Okay, so see that door way down there? That... Oh, wait, maybe I can use my telescope. That door, way down there. You can come out there, and then you only have to walk past, like, one guard. Because, look. You go through that door, which is behind this stupid pillar. And you walk, like, along here. But I, however, I have to walk through two guards, because I went through the wrong door. And, uh, I can't just go around. Because that would mean going around the entire bottom half of the map. So let's just... Sneak by, solid snake style. Back when I was a kid, this took me like years. Honestly, I think I must have spent a good half an hour doing this. Luckily, um, I know it shouldn't take that long, so we should be good. If these stupid idiots just stop being stupid and stop being idiots, then we might get by any day. Come on. Get a reasonable distance away from me so I can start moving. Okay, that looks fine. No, I don't want to fall in there, but I want to cut the corner. Okay. Please don't catch me. Please don't catch me. My heart is going to race so hard. Okay, I'm just going to let him walk by. You can you can just go walk by. Do your little thing. I don't care, girl. Do what you want. Okay, let's make a little bit of progress here. Oh, my lord. This is scary. Okay, now this guy's turning, so we'll just uh, stop. Let him walk by. Now, this is where it gets tricky. This must be the hardest part, because see, he's looking at me now. And once he passes, then I have that other guard in the back looking for me. So there's really no point when I can easily walk when they're both not looking at me. So I kind of have to wait it out. This guy's walking, this guy's still looking. And we're good to go. Make a bit of progress. They can hear you, I think, so I'm just going to be really careful. Okay, uh, save the game. I don't know why I'm saving it here. It's not like it makes a difference. I will use the safe state in case of a crash. Okay, let's open the door. Alright, here we go. Uh, we're climbing this thing pretty fast, if I do say so myself. But we're nearing the top. Okay. Let's see what we have up here. <gasps> what is that? Is that the light of another guard? It is! Good thing there's another barrel conveniently placed next to each and every guard so that I can do this. Okay. You know... Hold on. Oh. What? Oh no, did he spot something? <gasps> Oh, no, it was nothing. It was nothing. These guards are really, really stupid, honestly. I think it's possible to do this without the barrel, this one. Because of how stupid his path is. I think I tried it earlier and it worked out, but I don't want to risk it now. Oh, shit! What the f- Dude! I hardly move. I hardly move. Okay, safe state that. I'm sorry, I have to. I feel really bad for doing that. <laughs> well, uh... I guess that's cheating, but I don't want to walk all the way back up there even though I already, you know, did the whole thing. I, I'm so stupid. Honestly, that was dumb. Okay, but now that I'm, how about this? I'm going to use a safe state right here just so that I can try and run by this guy without using a barrel to see if I can. Because that would be hilarious. Okay, so first step is hide behind this barrel. Just behind it like this. Yeah, that'll be good. You won't see it coming. So sneaky. Too sneaky for you. Come on, man. You're walking so slow. You just you're this is make this is agonizingly painful to to sit through. I don't want to sit here anymore, okay? Okay, go. Go. Walk. One, two, one, two, move that ass, please. Okay, let's go. Oh no. Oh no. No 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 no. Okay. Come on. Come on, we can do this. Oh shit, I made a sound. Come on, don't look at me. Don't look at me, just be on your merry way. Be on your merry way. Be on your merry way. Okay, you're dumb, 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 you're stupid. I did it without a barrel, that's how you do it. And the lesson of the day, kids, is that if you try to sneak by a guard with a barrel, it won't work. If you do it without the barrel, you'll be stupid enough, maybe, and then you can just walk by. <laughs> Alright, now, here we go. This took me a long time to figure out when I was a kid, like how you're supposed to do this, so let me just explain it to you. You have to walk up to the wall, and while you're walking at the wall, hold A, and Link will do this little sidle thing, and you can just, like, hold A. I'm holding A this entire time, and then you can just do your little tippity-toe thing right through here. It's all good and dandy. And he has this, like, really sick face on him, too. It's really, 
badass looking. Oh yeah. Now I think if I'm not mistaken, this is my sister's window up here. So yeah, there's all the seagulls. Now let's see if we can sneak across. Maybe these hearts are something of symbolism to represent your love for your sister. Or maybe they're just to draw attention to the area. Or maybe they're just actually there for regenerating your health. I'm probably overthinking this a lot. Come on, Link, you can do it. Okay, great. Now let's run back up here and, uh... Oh my god, there's my sword! My sword! I dropped it up here. I'm so lucky, I can just go get it. Yay, my sword! Yay! Yay! Oh no, what the shit? Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh hey, look, I got a sword. You got the hero's sword. You dropped. Now you're in business. Take care and don't drop it again. No! Oh my... Okay, how about this? How about I parry you to show you that I'm in control here? How about that? Oh, get on! And then how about... How about not only that? How about I pick up your weapon and I kick the shit out of it, out of you with it? How about that? How about that? And then how about I do a spin attack? No, that wasn't a spin attack. How about that? Yeah, how about... How about that? How about you just die on top of the spikes and then I laugh and then you die? How about that? Sound like a plan? Deal. Okay, thank you, sir. Now, just to save in case of a game crash, we'll use that safe state and get through this door. Ooh, so spooky. <gasps> oh my god! It's Ariel! <gasps> I won the game, guys! It's over! You can just go home now! Wait a minute. That's too short for a Zelda game. <gasps> no! It's the bird! Maybe I get to fight him now and I can impale him with my miniature sword that's like the size of one of his teeth if he had teeth. Oh no, of course not. Oh no, I'm so weak. It picked me up. No! Little sister, I'll come and get you. Why? Oh, I never heard that scream. Wow. I don't think I've ever played this game wearing headphones before. The little... She screamed. It was so... Heart-wrenching. Wow. Oh no. What's happening? Where's the bird going? <gasps> Who's that? Could that be? Ganondorf? It's Ganondorf. Do I get to fight him? <gasps> he threw me halfway across the ocean. Of course I don't get to fight him. Damn it. Maybe I could have ended this once and for all. Give them all one, two. One in the side, one in the uppercut. Just show them who's boss. Because I know I'm boss. And I'm going to kick his ass one day. One day, one day. Be there, be square, be all. What am I talking about? What was that? There was a boat that just came up right next to me. Hey. DRL. DRL. Wake up, DRL. Nah, man. Five more minutes, mommy. Five more minutes. Pull yourself together, DRL. Where am I? I'm in a boat. I'm on a boat and I'm going fast and... How about now? Okay, I'll stop singing. Thanks. Well, have you come to your senses yet? You are surprisingly dull-witted. <gasps> what? A talking boat? Did I startle you? I suppose that is only natural. As wide as the world is, I am the only boat upon... Uh, I'm the only boat upon it who can speak the words of men. I am the King of Red Lions. Do not fear. I am not your enemy. DRL. I have been watching you since you went to the Forsaken Fortress. You stupid creep! To rescue your sister. I understand how you desire to protect your sister and give the courage to fearlessly stand up to anything. But such a bold attempt was foolhardy. I suppose you saw him. That shadow. That commands. That monstrous bird. His name is... Ganon. Dun dun dun! He who obtained the power of the gods attempted to cover the land in darkness and was ultimately sealed away behind the very power he hoped to command. 
He is the very same Ganon, the Emperor of Dark Realm, the ancient legends speak of. So he's the one who was in the lore at the beginning. He was that monster? I do not know why the seal of the gods has failed, but now that Ganon is returned, the world is once again being threatened by his evil magic. Tell me, DRL, do you still wish to save your sister from him? Yeah. Will you do anything to save her? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I see. In that case, I shall guide you as we go forward, advising you on what you should do and where you must go. Ganon cannot be defeated by human hands, let alone what little strength you possess. The key to defeating Ganon is locked away in a great power that you can wield only after much toil and hardship. Do you understand? Yeah. In that case, we depart to the Great Sea. Ah, but I am getting ahead of myself. This is actually a bit embarrassing for me to admit, but although I am indeed a boat that possesses the power of speech, I possess no sail. And a boat with no sail can sail no seas. Oh, great quote-making, Winston Churchill. I have brought you far to the east of the dark gaze of the Forsaken Fortress. On this island is a town of merchants who deal a wide variety of goods. If you search hard enough, surely you can find one who will sell you a sail. I am sorry to ask this of you, but without a sail I will be useless to you. This island of merchants is home to many valuable goods. While the sail must come first, do not feel limited to buying it. Once you have it, feel free to stock up on anything else you think you may need. But remember, there is no time to play. Come back here immediately as soon as your errands are done. Thanks, hippie. Okay, let's get on with our adventure.